The Philippines is an archipelago that is rich in land, sea, and other natural resources. Most of our land, water, and other natural resources are found in the public domain. They are our commons, or areas accessible to all, where farmers can grow crops and domesticate animals, where fisher folks can harvest fish and other marine products, where communities can catch wildlife and gather forest material for shelter, clothing, and medicine. Herein also lies the rich water and mineral resources that can generate energy and provide the raw materials needed by commerce and industry. Our natural resources were not immune to overexploitation and destruction, and few cared about the effect on our society and economy. In 2012, International Alert made a small contribution to the mix of collective action techniques that can be used to secure the commons. We called it RUMP, or Resource Use and Management Planning, and we tested and implemented it in hundreds of thousands of hectares of ancestral lands occupied by indigenous peoples across the Philippines. RUMP was accompanied by an institutional shift in the Philippines when the government established rules governing the control and management of land and other resources where the indigenous peoples, cultural communities, tribal peoples, or First Nations lived and thrived. What we feared most was the effect of a new Indigenous Peoples Rights Act and its provision of private property rights to tribal leaders and councils over ancestral domains that would enable them to secure royalty payments from firms for their exploitation and use. Indeed, in the first decade of its implementation, some tribal leaders quickly became tribal dealers, earning millions of pesos without an accounting to their communities. RUMP has offered the opposite by ensuring wider participation and representation of stakeholders in resource use and management planning. RUMP is therefore a platform for dialogue and negotiation that allows the creation of a shared development plan that reflects actual conditions. RUMP fills the gap in a country without a national land use policy. Most of all, RUMP is a conflict transformation tool that manages resource-based conflicts by identifying distinctive interest groups and organizes stakeholders to develop strategies around resource utilization and management issues. RUMP is a stepwise process undertaken in six stages. First, participants identify existing resources and its characteristics, the shape and contours of a place, the breadth and depth of a marine resource, the location of resources, and together they agree on a resource use strategy. Second, participants formulate an inclusive and viable development plan to suit the needs of all stakeholders and is sensitized to gender, culture, identity, and conflict. Third, participants agree on a scheme to manage resources, determining their proper and sustainable use, agreeing on incentives and sanctions, and the means for monitoring compliance and performance according to the rules. Fourth, Participants identify formal and informal means for resolving disputes and conflicts and are willing to create hybrid systems if needed. Fifth, participants agree to a strategy for informing and influencing local government and national agency plans, strategies, and programs. Finally, participants agree on a strategy for attracting investments, aid, and external development inputs establishing partnerships with the private sector, and redistributing the gains from those investments and partnerships. RUMP has already demonstrated its effectiveness and responsiveness to development needs and conflict resolution. In the province of Bataan, north of Manila in the central Luzon region, indigenous Aitas collectively assessed economic and trade arrangements with upland settlers and migrants. They agreed on fairer terms of trade and on strategies to rehabilitate damaged areas within their ancestral domain. Other tribal groups such as the Dibabawans and the Manguangans agreed on rules and strategies to ensure that any memorandum of agreement entered between IP groups and mining companies would recognize the community and collective beneficiaries of royalty payments in tribal mineral areas. In the municipality of Rosario in the mineral-rich province of Agusan del Sur in eastern Mindanao, the indigenous Manobos agreed on a new set of rules to clarify conflict issues and triggers from private sector and community competition over water resource allocation. They developed a 3D map that identified rehabilitation and protection sites and entered into a tripartite arrangement with business groups and local government to jointly protect their sources of clean and potable water. These are only a few samples of how RUMP can support indigenous peoples, upland settlers, fisherfolk, and women in securing their rights over ancestral lands. 
Rump has covered more than 325,000 hectares of land across the Philippines. They are a countercurrent to the tragedy of the commons and can help reverse our skepticism over the power of collective action in protecting the environment.